Did an annuity ruin their retirement plan? It looks like it. I'm going to show you why you're wrong. Out here, get some beautiful sun on my beautiful pale skin. Need that vitamin D, baby. Vitamin D from that great heat tab in the sky. Uh, going on locals here in a few minutes, so don't forget to join me on locals every 4 p.m. Eastern time, Friday, 4 p.m. Eastern time. Um, all right, so basically we got old uh, Kevin and Ann Sample. They need they have a 200 they have a 500 thousand dollar portfolio. They need five percent a year from a 500 thousand dollar portfolio. All right, all their other that's they're basically saying we need we have 500 thousand bucks. We need five thousand five percent of this a year, which is 25 thousand bucks adjusted for inflation. And like, what's the best way to make this work? All right, they're both 67 years old. Kevin will die at 87. Miss Ann will die at 90. All right, so they were saying, how can we make this work? We need five percent a year from this portfolio until we're dead all right so they got and our investment right now is a 70 30 growth oriented portfolio we have a 5.5 percent rate of return expected mean median that's the mean the average and we expect a 12 percent standard deviation so that's uh we we expect any given year we could be down 31 percent we're okay with that risk all right and you'll see here right here we can go to retirement it's not going to look good it's not going to look good at all um 72 percent they're like oh my goodness that's it uh, that looks pretty good to me but be it as it may we go to cash flows and we're going to see down here that our expenses our income is thirty thousand dollars when they're both still out they got thirty thousand dollars in in 2043 keep down the back of your mind thirty thousand bucks all right thirty thousand bucks so now what we're going to do instead, we're going to say, can we make that look better by taking uh, 250000 off this 500000 and put it into a, a guaranteed annuity? 250000 I already ran the numbers from immediateannuities.com, and we'll show you what the income is right here, annuity. And we're going to put it right here. And it's a 20-year in period certain annuity. With 100% survivor benefit, that means as long as one of them is breathing, they're going to get that $16,560 a year on a $250,000 annuity. That's a freaking 6.6% distribution yield, dudes. Pretty good. That's tough to turn away from. Anyway, so as long as one of them is breathing, they're going to get $16,560 for at least 20 years or their life, whichever is longer. 20 years or life, whichever is longer. All right, so... Let's take a look at here. So it was 72%. Now we're sitting at what? Oh, eight. What? What? 80. What? How could that possibly be? Let's go to cash flows. 16,500 guaranteed money. We scroll, what, what? What? Remember? we? I forgot what we said. $30,000. Look at that. Because they have the 16,560 guaranteed. They need $25,000 a year. They're pulling $8,400 from the other remaining 8400 bucks divided by 250 Oops, I guess it doesn't really, 250 there we go. That's a 3.3% distribution rate. So instead of taking a 5% distribution rate on the entirety, they're taking 250000 of that, right? And they're putting it into an annuity to give them a guaranteed rate of return that they can't out, guaranteed income they can't outlive. That gives them a baseline. And that means they reduce the amount needed from the rest of the portfolio from 5% to 3. Point whatever it was, 3.6 or something like that. 3.36, I think it was. Now that percentage will get higher as they get older because they still need, right here, total outflows, 27,000, uh, 30,000. Let's see here, one second. Uh, we got that's our RMDs right there. So they need expenses of $30,000. They're going to get 10,000. Once their RMDs kick in right there, 11,000 bucks. Let's take a look at $11,000 in 2031 on their investment assets. On 2031, 11,000 bucks on uh, 270, 280. $11,000 is what they need on 280 is what they got in their portfolio. That's a 3.9. So their distribution rates go up. But because the distribution rates are so low to begin with, it gives them a lot more flexibility to deal with the sequence of return risks. I hope this makes sense, man. This is, this is a big deal if you ask me. So again, I'll show you what happens here. Their portfolio is worth 250000 bucks. We're expecting a 5.5% rate of return. 
All right, so they need they need twenty five thousand dollars from the portfolio, but they get sixteen thousand five hundred sixty guaranteed from the annuity, and it's not inflated either. And that means they need eight thousand four hundred thirty six from the remaining of the portfolio. That money that the amount they're going to need is going to start growing uh, because the annuity is not inflation adjusted. But because they withstood the sequence of return risks in the front part, th th there's less years for them to get walloped and to lose money in the, when they're at 90 years old because there's less downside risk for us. They're, they're shorting the amount of time that the downside risk can affect them. All right, so again, and then we go down here, our total income is 36,000 in 2043, all right? 36,000 in 2043. Let's go back, pretend there is no annuity. Our income is 36,000 in 2043, zero, number 36, and we're going to go back to here, net worth 500,000 with no annuity. And let's see what it is. Our total income. Thirty thousand in twenty forty three, huh? Huh? What? How much are they leaving here? They're leaving downstream. Uh, hundred twelve thousand bucks. Let's see how much they're leaving downstream with the annuity income. Uh, we're gonna go down here. Annuity, right there. It's just taking less stress off the portfolio, man. It's all there. I mean, it's literally all there is to it. It's taking less stress off the portfolio. Um, but it's not adjusted for inflation. Yeah, but because there's less stress off the portfolio, the remaining of the portfolio can give us that inflation adjustment. Uh, I forgot. We were leaving 116, I think, before. And now we're leaving how much? Probably less, I think. Yeah, 98. So what, dude? They get higher probability of success even though they're leaving less money. That's how an annuity saved their retirement portfolio. It didn't hurt it. It saved it. All right. Love your thoughts. We'll see you.